the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. There's an old cliche, when the dogwoods are blooming, the crappie should be biting. Well, that's not necessarily true. Mother Nature always has her say but it can vary greatly depending on the weather. Springtime is a very unpredictable season. You might have two beautiful days with temperatures in the 80s and the night temps in the 60s. Then the next three days, you'll be lucky to see the 50 degree mark during the day and it'll be near freezing at night. Well, we all know what those chilly nights do to the water temperature and in turn, what they do to the shallow water fish. Although spring is a fun time, it's often a frustrating time for fishermen. But when you get three or four nights above 45 degrees and daytime temps above 65, things start changing fast. So how about tagging along with us today as we search the shallow flooded timber for a popular little fish we call the crappie in these parts. Tell you what, look at this chart courtesy of the Mississippi Department of Wildlife. This chart represents the average weights and lengths of crappie in Mississippi and is basically intended as a guideline. Differences in sex, the season, life histories, feeding behavior, and so forth can affect the actual results. It shows that a 14 inch fish should weigh approximately two to two and a quarter pounds and a 16 inch fish about a pound more. Call him a speckled perch, a slab, a sockelet, white perch, paper mouth, speck, crappy, or crappy. What makes him so special? Well, many things. For instance, he knows no seasons and he can be caught 12 months of the year in water depths ranging from 12 inches to 60 feet or deeper. And water clarities ranging from spring clear to muddy, from still to moving. And he'll bite a wide range of water temps from say 40 degrees to 90 degrees, and you can catch him in almost any weather conditions. And this is one fish that can be caught more ways than you can imagine. He also doesn't discriminate between anglers paddling a John boat or those in an ultra sleek bass boat or others fishing from shore. A remarkable little fish, don't you think? I certainly think so. I love catching them and they make tremendous table fare. There he is. Whoop, 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 that's a good one. Oh yeah. Just go, go, go. I hear that line just zinging. Yep, that got me out of my seat. I right, hope you don't get a whoa. Look at the size of that big old mouth. Alright buddy. I got this long pole. Look at the size of that one right there, Bill. Look at the size of that one right there. A little bitty bait. Look at the size of that fish's mouth. That little bitty bait. Woo! That's a big old crappie. Big old crappie with a big old mouth. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, buddy. Nice. <laughs> Bill Dance Outdoors, sponsored by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. 
and by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is sponsored by Outdoor Water Solutions, offering pond and lake aeration systems with energy-saving solutions including solar and wind, customized to fit your need. Visit OutdoorWaterSolutions.com for quality aeration products. better one. Had to get me out of my seat that one does. Whoa, that's a good one. He break, even jumping out of the water. Look at that fish go. That's a good one. Easy. Look at that. Nice and nice crappy. Yes, you are. See ya. The multitude of fun ways you can go about catching crappie is another thing that makes them so special. Let me tell you about five different crappie techniques that can really be productive, depending on conditions. Vertical fishing. Well, it's probably the most effective technique during the spawn and when the fish are relating to cover. Trolling is good when crappie move to open water and suspend. What it does, this allows you to use several poles and cover lots of water. Pulling, it's similar to trolling, but here you're side pulling, covering a wider depth range for bottom feeding crappie. Casting, well, that's an excellent way of catching suspended crappie and those relating close to the bottom. And slip corking is dynamite when fish are in open water areas and are very temperamental. Other advantages to vertical fishing are you can control your presentation every time. When you hook a fish, it can be lifted straight up out of the cover with less chance of hanging you up and spooking other catchable fish. Nice crappie right there. A better one. Yes. I think it's just so pretty. See you, buddy. Vertical fishing may not be for everybody, but for me and thousands of others, it's not only one of the most effective methods for catching crappie, it's just doggone fun. Now I'd like to cast out some things you might or might not know about America's favorite panfish. Did you know that there are two species of crappie, the black and the white? And while they're similar in appearance, many folks get them confused. The black crappie usually has a darker spotted color, while the white has vertical bars on its side. Now if you want to know which is which, the easiest way to tell them apart is by counting the number of spines on the dorsal fin. The black has seven or eight spines, while the white has only six. During late winter through mid-spring, some fishermen think they're catching black crappie, when in reality, they're catching white male crappie. White males are darker then because of a hormone change they go through before and during the spawn. Normally, by late spring and early summer, they return to their normal color. The color change is why many fishermen actually believe there's only one species, and the true black crappie is really just a white male, but it just ain't so. And did you know that crappie in the north spawn when water temperatures reach the 63 to 68 degree mark, whereas in the south, they begin to spawn in 55 
to 60 degree water temperatures. Today's show is brought to you in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, Quantum Performance Tuned, Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination, and Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light saltwater, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley Catch More Fish. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Tough little old crappie there. A little blacken. Open that mouth. The way the good Lord distributed the colors on you, he did a pretty job, didn't he? And that silver and the gold and the, there we go. Boink. Got that silver and a little turquoise. Yep, the good Lord gave you some pretty coloration. All right, let's go back. We're using six pound strand fluorescent original, strand original, fluorescent. You can see that line. You can see when they hit it. A lot of times they'll hit it and go off. Sometimes they'll come up with it. But it's clear blue fluorescent. I'm a line watcher. You can sure see this line extremely well. We're using these little Zebco underspan reels. They're extremely lightweight. The rods are Quantum Novus. They're 10 and a half feet long. They're extremely balanced. Lightweight, got a quick tip on them. Just almost just just pop your wrist and tip will set the hook. Got a tremendous amount of uh, backbone. You can lift the fish straight up out of the water with them or out of the cover. But uh, got an extended handle here. Take the rod here. You got a long fore grip. You can handle a good fish. Force him right up out of the cover. And fishing, uh, I think these are little eighth ounce weedless bass pro heads. And the bait that uh, we're using are these little crappie max um, baby shad. They're a little two inch long and they look like nothing. They're kind of cute. They look like a little little baby shad. I'll show you what one looks like. Looks like a little toothpick. Doesn't have a lot of action, but boy, they like it. I'm telling you, they really like that bait. I've been asked many times, if you could fish any lake you wanted to for monster-sized crappie, say four pounds or bigger, that's what I said, four pounds or bigger, where would you choose and why? Well, my answer is a lake that I've fished many times and it's where I've caught my biggest crappie so far. It's Arca Butler Lake, a wide floodplain reservoir located in northwest Mississippi. Here's where many four plus pounders are caught every year, especially in mid to late spring. Yep, you heard me right. I did say four plus pounders.
good one too. Big old black one. Look at that. A pretty fish right there. Really pretty. Little big black male. Let's go bye-bye. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light saltwater, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Does anyone make a rod holder for a rectangular rail that comes on some pontoon boats? Yep, they do. Millennium Marine. This rod holder is universal to fit most boat railings regardless if they're round, square, or flat and has 180 to 360 degree rod adjustments made with anodized aluminum and comes with a one-year warranty. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley Catch More Fish. Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, Sonar Combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. Anglers looking for a way to make their smaller boats stay put in shallow water? Check out the PowerPole Heavy Duty Spike. The spike helps hold small boats exactly where you want to keep them. It also secures the bow of a bass boat that has power poles. Each spike comes with a nylon dock line and push grips to help you easily sink it into sand or mud. Need to stay steady in one spot? Spike that spot. You can fish there as long as you wish. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. There's a good good fighter. There we go. A big old thicken. Open up. Good old round job, isn't it? <laughs> How you doing? Look at that, that's a pretty fish. Yes, he is. Toodaloo. While many types of tackle and technique will catch crappie, one of my favorites is called long poling, what we're doing today. Vertical fishing with an extra long 10-foot rod. Regardless of whether it involves tight lining or the use of a cork. This technique offers some year-round advantages, especially when crappie are relating to cover in depths of, let's say, two to 15 feet of water. What this technique does, it allows you to fish cover where casting and retrieving is not practical. Dropping a jig or bait straight down into pockets or the edge of cover. It also lets you lift a fish straight up out of the cover with less chance of him hanging you up. Now the extra rod length lets you get your lure out to cover a wider area and depth around the boat, as well as prevent spooking fish in shallow water. Another advantage to vertical fishing, especially when crappie are suspended or inactive, is that it allows you to keep your bait in one spot longer with better depth control. And it allows you to cover a wide depth range faster to locate the most productive depth zone. Of course, the right technique and tackle will help you catch more fish only if you're fishing the right spot at the right depth. You know, as I said, you'll be able to cover a wider depth range regardless if they're suspended or on the bottom or close to the bottom. Secondly, you'll be able to keep your offering in one spot for a longer period of time. And third, you'll be able to control the correct presentation every single time. 
If they're inactive and move in extremely tight to the cover as a result of very cold water or a weather change, you'll be in a much better position to tease them into hitting. And finally, if the terrain is loaded with submerged cover at all different depths and you're casting, you'll spend more time tying on jigs than actually fishing. Yeah. A better one. Yep, you're going. Okay, boy. I got to come back here to get you. A good one. Ooh. Oh, that big mouth. Yes. Got it out and rehooked it. Get that one. Like I said earlier, when the dogwoods are blooming, it's a mighty good time to think about grabbing your crappie gear and heading to your favorite crappie waters. You might want to try some of the techniques we've cast your way today. They work for us. Maybe they'll work for you too. We certainly hope so. So until next time, you catch one for me. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. No, I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.